turkey stand bin hopefully there's no geckos in here yep house geckos do enter my turkey stand oh they're stealing my turks okay before we continue with this video let me just show you my skeleton tarantula she is ready to eat and uh well she's doing magnificent like let me open this hopefully she doesn't go in uh, yep yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, just stay there. Stay where you are. Let me get a Turkestan roach for you. One second. All right, so Turkestan bin. Hopefully there's no geckos in here. Yep, house geckos do enter my Turkestan roach. Oh, okay, as I was saying. God dang it, man. Why do you have to... <sighs> hate these guys. They're stealing my Turks, man, every single time. Super annoying. Dude, what are you doing, man? Dude, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Okay. Anyways, let's get a... You're eating your friend? You're eating your friend? Um, okay. Since you like to eat your friend, you're coming with me, girl. You're coming with me. And let's see what happens to you, okay? Since you like to eat your friend, here you go. One, two, three. Hey, 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 no. You gotta face the consequences. Where did you go? Come here, go. You're going this way? Come here. Here, here you go. Oh, did she get it? Nope, she hasn't got it yet. Come on. Oh man, she doesn't want to eat. It's okay, you'll stay in there. You're gonna get eaten sooner, so yeah. Anyway, you guys saw my skeleton tarantula and well, the reason why I'm showing you her is... Wait, let's let's go. Let's go see why the reason I'm showing you that skeleton tarantula. Ugh, <sighs> house gecko, so annoying, man. Hate them. I freaking come here and steal my turks, but yeah, anyways. It is currently dark out right now because, I don't know, I just came back. I actually went to another state to collect a tarantula. And let me just show you her. It's still in my car, so yeah. Right here, here is our new addition, guys. Oh yeah, I went to collect these custom-made tanks from my friend. And, well, they will need some customizing inside, like all the substrate and then all the plants and all, which I will do with my mom in, I don't know, a couple days but no this is not what this video is about this right here this beauty okay yep this is gonna be a fun video hello okay let's go let's see how this goes as i'm walking to my animal room pause this video comment down below what species of tarantula you think this is uh too late i'm already in my animal room but um well this right here let me just get her enclosure first i hope it's a her i think it's a her because this tarantula in the pet shop that i went earlier they had four they had four of these tarantulas and one happens to be a matured male like look at this this matured male is around the same size as this tarantula and there are already hooks he's like super leggy look at his legs his front legs super leggy and then he already has hooks like those tibial hooks that males used to mate yeah so this tarantula is in fact still on sex but i'm guessing because that one was a mature male and it's around this size and this one seems to be pretty plump so i'm guessing that this is a female i don't know but it doesn't matter anyways if it's a male then i guess i'll have to look for a female but i think it's a female i am 80 percent sure that it is a female so yeah let me get its enclosure i will be rehousing her her hopefully it's a her into this enclosure i believe so so, yep, check this out. This enclosure isn't too, I don't know, isn't too complex, should I say? But it is definitely adequate enough for her. So, let me get this enclosure down onto the floor and then we will get her in. And I'll explain to you why I showed you my skeleton tarantula. Alright guys, I've got it on the floor and I'm gonna get the water dish because this tarantula is a new world but it is pretty bolty. So I'm going to get the enclosure all prepared first before I put her in. You don't want to mess with this girl. Okay, let's let's put this in. Just drop this water dish in. This is not any ordinary rehouse because usually I'll get the tarantula from its old enclosure and rehouse it into its new enclosure. But this one, I just got a new pet, a new tarantula. And let's see how it does in this enclosure over here. Let me just plop the water dish at the corner, like right here. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to use this to spritz just a little bit of, oh, oh my, God. Oh, oh no. Yo, yo, okay, I'm not gonna be breaking this enclosure like right now. Nope, nope, okay. Jeez, chill, man, chill. Oh, I'm too excited, come on, man. All right, just give it a quick spray. 
There we go. Not too much because we don't want mold to start to break out. Oh yeah. So now let's look into this tarantula. Where's my tong? No, I'm not going to be using my tong. Actually, I'm going to be using this thing over here, this pen, because it is, I don't know, it's kind of softer. The tong is, I don't even know where I put the tong. I can't even remember. Like, oh, it's right there. It's on the floor beside my skeleton tarantula's enclosure. It's metal, right? It's metal and I don't like, I don't know. I, I rather use plastic. So, ooh, salmon pink bird eaters doing super well. Check her out. Just chilling on the turf looking super good. Oh yeah, by the way, if I have not uploaded this video of me rehousing this girl in here or my skeleton tarantula video, um, I don't know, stay tuned in the future. I did film all of the rehousings, but it's just not, hey, hello, yeah. It's just maybe some of them are not uploaded yet. I'm not quite sure, but a lot of them should be up for upload. But if they're not uploaded, just wait for it. If it's uploaded, if this skeleton tarantula is uploaded, I will link it in the description below. But if it's not, then just stay tuned, okay? But yeah, anyways, why I showed you my skeleton tarantula? Well, that is the Aphobopus marinas, the skeleton tarantula, the normal skeleton tarantula. This right here, wait, I forgot the scientific name. <sighs> Gotta check my phone. All right, so this is the Emerald. Skeleton Tarantula, which is also known as the uh, Aphobopus Uatuman. I, I don't even know how to how to say that. Uatuman? 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 Yeah, I, I think I like the word Uatuman better. So it's the Aphobopus Uatuman, the... <laughs> Aphobobus uatuman, the emerald skeleton tarantula. So basically this and that is, they come from the same genus, right? The Aphobopus, but this is, I mean, that's the Marinus. I mean, similar to the OBT over here, which is right here, Miss Lord of Mercy. This is the Terinochilus Marinus. There we go. Totally different species, by the way. I know it's Marinus as well, but that is Terinochilus and this is Aphobopus. Yeah, Aphobopus Marinus, Terinochilus Marinus. And this is the Aphobopus Purpose, uatuman. uatuman. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what, how, I mean, how should I pronounce this one? But yeah, this tarantula actually was in the pet shop. All four of them, I don't know why nobody bought them, but they've been in the pet shop for over a year. And ever since I saw them like over a year ago, I've always wanted them, but never really had the budget. I always thought that they were really expensive. I mean, if you guys notice my tarantulas, a lot of them are very, very cheap species. For example, Lassiodora Klugi. I got this as a sling for about, I don't know, $15, okay? $15. We have got uh, the oh yeah Thailand black uh can't remember but uh OBT uh Miss Lord of Mercy I got her for about seven dollars yeah and then this one hmm about fifty dollars however this one over here I got it for about eighty dollars yeah about eighty dollars quite a purchase quite a price right there but I mean hey we gotta fill all of these enclosures up yo so yeah anyways let's get this girl in oh yeah I was mentioning that no one bought them so I was eyeing at them I I go to this pet shop like at least once a month okay at least once a month so easily more than 12 times and every time I look at them I'm like oh when can I actually buy one I mean I, I could have bought one but I just no I just didn't because I always thought that they were pretty expensive but here we are <laughs> after maybe a year and like two to three months yeah we finally got it and i can't believe it let's just see let's just open this and see how it looks like in the light now this is a very very gorgeous species and i mean i did shine light on it just now and it looks nothing like the picture let me show you the picture the aphobopus uatuman how long do skeleton tarantulas live 15 years okay if you're a female then i would imagine that maybe you're two years from now so 13 years you have 13 years to go with us so you better stay good and strong and healthy so yeah, mm, let's see, let's see, let's see how they look like. They look pretty darn cool. Check that out. Look at this, you guys. Tell me that's not cool. But this, unfortunately, it looks nothing like that. But I guess, yeah, I guess <laughs> it should be fine. I don't, I don't really care. But let's just take a look at it with the light. Apparently, these guys are super bolty. They are New World. Where are they from, though? They are from, wait, let's see. Branson's Wild World. Shout out to you dude if you give me information so we've got the emerald skeleton tarantula shout out to this guy branson's wild world uh where are they from this is uh, blah, blah 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 range from near the uatama biological reserve in brazil and north of guyana there we go sorry if it isn't focused but there we go some claim northeast into central french guyana not confirmed so i guess in brazil and north guyana that is pretty cool where is my pen where on earth is 
if I, why do I keep losing? Oh, there we go, losing things. Okay, let's just put this girl into a new enclosure. Hopefully it's a girl because like I mentioned, that matured male is around this size and they they were selling it for the exact same price for some reason, I have no clue. But yeah, anyways, this girl is super duper cool. Always wanted this tarantula. This place is the only place that sold this species. I mean, from what I know in this country, but I mean, yeah, that's why it is pretty pricey. I told my friend how much I bought it for and he was like, yo, that, that's quite expensive, but I don't care, okay? I don't care. Here we go. Check this out. Is that not beautiful or what? Look at that. That is one beautiful tarantula, although it doesn't look like what it looked in the picture, but who cares? It's a different species. We're gonna rehouse her into here because she is pretty small. I don't think they get very big, maybe maximum five inches, four inches, and this enclosure, it has a small height, so she can go in and chill over there. It's not a very big height, so just perfect. And in the pet store, they had this tarantula in like, I don't know, like an inch and a half of substrate, a dry substrate, and they were they were doing fine. They were doing perfectly fine. I mean, they've been there for over a year, so this enclosure, definitely, they'll do well. So yeah, we've got some pebbles over here, some nice rocks for decoration, got some substrate, kind of obvious, and some moss over here just to retain some moisture, I guess, if I could say that. Yep, water dish, some nice background, and some nice plants. So that's basically it. A very, very simple enclosure, but effective. So let's get this girl into her new enclosure. Hopefully she doesn't bolt, you see? They just put her into this enclosure when I bought her. She was in that critter keeper, just like the male tarantula, the male, the matured male. And it's only been about, I don't know, five hours since I left the pet store. And look at that, she's already started to web up the place. That is pretty cool. Super heavy webbers. And yeah, let's get her into a new enclosure. Personally, I do think that the normal skeleton tarantula looks way cooler, but this guy, ugh, something went in my mouth. But these guys look still, I mean, they still look pretty darn cool. So let's see how bolty this one is. Let's put her into this enclosure. Yo, check that out. That's so cool. I mean, they don't really look much like a skeleton, but close enough, right? Close enough. Let's get her in. Hopefully she cooperates with us, because if not, that would not be fun. Come on, girl. Be good. Be good. Act like a new world, please. Do not flinch. Come on. Go, go, go. You've got... Oh my gosh. Come on. Go on, girl. Let's just move upwards. Hopefully it's a girl. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a female. It is super plump. Like, check out the butt. It's, it's insane. So, oh man. Super heavy web, man. Super heavy webbing. Whoa, girl. No. Oh, no. You're not coming this way. You're supposed to go that way. Look at her, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Male? Female? Female, hopefully. Please, guys. Comment female. I don't know. Look at that. Super heavy web in just like five hours that is insane can't wait for her to web up this whole place hopefully she does that that'll be pretty cool very very cool tarantula come on go 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 you're almost there stop turning around man you why can't you just walk straight i don't understand go 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 get up slow and steady wins the race sorry it's not focused dang it phone <laughs> Whoa, okay, there we go, you guys. You can finally see her in all her glory. Look at that. Beautiful tarantula or not? Comment down below. If you say it's not a beautiful tarantula, I'll block you. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. But it, it's beautiful. Yeah, if you can get this tarantula, go for it. It's pretty rare in the country over here. And therefore, maybe I should grab the other three. I don't know. Should I grab the other three, you guys? Comment down below. <laughs> If I should, then I will because maybe it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't think I will come across them again. Whoa, girl, calm down. You're gonna like this enclosure much better. Come on, let's go. I'm being very gentle with you. Come on, at least cooperate. There we go. Beautiful. Go on, girl. Get off the deli cup. Come on, man. What are you doing? Do I have to like... There we go. Get off, man. Oh, there we go. Yo, guys, this enclosure looks super massive for her. But, but, and yeah, but. <laughs> I think she's gonna do fine. She's gonna do perfectly fine. And yeah, guys, finally, finally an emerald skeleton tarantula. Ooh, super happy today. Really, really happy. And also my friend just bought a Brachypalma Vagans, which is now I think Tilto Cattle. Tilto, Tilto Cattle Vagans, as well as a Chaco Goldeny, which is, if you guys don't know what a Chaco Goldeny looks like, over here. This is my female Gromastola Pulcropies Chaco Goldeny. The same one that I bought for Ants Canada, so. Anyways, guys, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And well, if you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down new to this channel subscribe hit that notification bell we've got uh the social media links in the description below facebook twitter instagram if you'd like to support through patreon that's in the description below as well appreciate all of you guys' support and yeah that'll be it one last look at this girl before we sign out there we go beautiful tarantula
I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.